Hello again. We're here with um, Jim Beam's Devil's Cut. This is a, as you can see from the label, this is a 90 proof beer. A little bit high for Jim Beam. I believe the black label is 86%. I'm not sure what the white label is. Um, and I'll, I'll do, I'm going to review the black label. They eat here. The rye, probably, which I haven't had before. The mainline four year, I'll probably buy that in a little one. And then the, um, any other ones I can get. Maybe even the Red Stag, although I've never had that, because I, I generally, why flavor whiskey, right? I mean, whiskey's delicious on its own. Let the, let the barrel flavor it. Um, and add the cinnamon note if that's what you want. So, this is, is, I'll, I'll lay out the, the propaganda for you, or, or whatever. This is a reasonably priced whiskey. This is $36 for this um, size. I believe it's $21 for the for the um, $7.50. You can see we've got a nice surprisingly dark color there for the Jim Beam. Um, although they can not necessarily darker than that yet. This is the Jim Beam 6 year which I've never seen. I don't believe they sell it out outside of Kentucky from, or, or very many places. They evidently can get it, but I've never seen it out where I live. Um, the six year, I've never seen the seven or the five. I've only seen or the charcoal filtered where I live. I've I've seen the Jim Beam um, white, black, and red stag, and now this and the rye where I live. This is their newest whiskey, and it's an interesting one. It's basically Jim Beam six years, so somewhere between the four and the eight that you're probably more familiar with if you drink whiskey. The four being the most popular whiskey in America, the eight being vastly superior to it, but higher priced and not quite as popular. And the, the, the hook here is that, the, is that this is, they've figured out a way to get out of the barrel staves, I assume the staves, um, the whiskey that's trapped in, because as we know, whiskeys, as the temperature changes, particularly in Kentucky, which has very wide climate changes, the whiskey's kind of sucked in during the summer as the pores open and then as they constrict, pushed out. Um, and this causes the whiskey to age. But a certain amount of the whiskey is lost into the pores and is lost into the atmosphere, which they call the angel share. It was lost in the atmosphere. But that, that doesn't escape the barrel. What is instead locked into the barrel is what the gin beams call them the devil's cut. And obviously, because it was trapped in the barrel, in very high contact with the barrel, it's going to be much more aged than, than you would expect. Right? That's that's the idea here. So you mix it with six year, Jim being six year, to um so it's not over, it doesn't taste over mature, and then you have this blended whiskey. That we we, we, we can really call this this is a, almost a Josh Fru blend. Even though it's all Jim Beam. Smell is all cinnamon. Other, some other spicy are coming. It's not really a... Mainly cinnamon, though. The first taste is surprisingly flavorful for a bean. You have that kind of caramelly taste that, you, that I associate with bean. Um, kind of a dull, slight tea kind of flavor, but mixed with that, let's cut this a bit, mixed with that is this really vibrant kind of spicy note. Not bad. not bad at all. It's very much a very spicy version of bean.
heavy oak note. I mean, that I'm calling spice, but it's a heavy, really, oak note with that, with that tea. Yeah. Not bad at all. So, this isn't a neat whiskey. It, it has a nice little backstory to it. I brought this to a tailgate and kind of spread it around, and it was a big hit. And that was made it just a fairly appealing whiskey to me because, again, being a beam, it's fairly affordable. And, you know, there's I like to give out decent whiskey, but I don't like to give out end up giving away $50 worth of whiskey. That That's a little high. Uh, which I've done before almost with, say, when I brought Woodford um, to a social event. I've ended up giving away $40, $50 of whiskey. With, with Jim Beam Devil's Cut, that's going to be cut in half, basically. And it's still going to get quite a, an interesting take. People are going to be interested by what it is. They're going to be surprised that they get a beam with this much flavor. with that much going on and if you tell them what, what it is they're going to think that's really interesting and so this is a really nice social whiskey for the price um, it's it, it's, a, it's a good value I mean you can't really say anything about it because it's, it's at a lower price point than Makers or even Buffalo Trace although I, I sometimes am able to get Buffalo Trace 750 175 if you look at that you can see $36 for that and a 1.75 you might be able to find it cheaper I can sometimes get um, Buffalo Trace for two dollars more and I would say that's probably a better a bread of whiskey and a better deal um, but um, but this is not a bad deal and again this is one That I recommend for social gatherings. You're not going to feel bad giving it up. You're not going to feel like people are committing sins, putting it in ice or putting it in um, heavy cinnamon note that time. Real spicy. Um, but putting it in cocktail glasses or diluting it with ice or um, anything else. Um, and they're going to like it more than they're going to like most whiskeys. They're going to if they drink it straight. They, um, they're going to be like surprised at a beam that is kind of tastes like this. Um, although again, it has some harsh notes in there that, that kind of probably but from the, the hyper maturity there are some notes in there that are, that are very striking um, and and, and and not necessarily as pleasant. Um, still, this is somewhat of a triumph for Jim Bean. For the price, for something to, to deal with their six year, I think they did a great job. This is a it's a solid whiskey, a good choice, um, worth trying. Um, I like it better. I will next review the eight year, and I, I like it a little better than that year. Um, the eight year just to me is a little too, almost too smooth, and so we'll, we'll 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 talk about that when we review it. But this I think is there is the best of the Jim Beam label whiskeys that I've had, and the one to get. Anyway, that's all I got. Talk to you later.